Hi, I'm Teresa with Inflectra. I'll be providing a series of short videos to help you get started using Spira. This includes all the additions of the system, Spira Test, Spira Team, and Spira Plan. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to plan releases using Spira Test specifically. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in the Spira Test instance. I'm in my sample empty product two. I've already defined requirements for this product here and then releases as well. So now I want to map those requirements to the releases that I've established. To do that, we're gonna to go to the re requirements list page and we're gonna do a bulk edit. So I'm gonna select all and then select the edit button here. And just to note that the current status of these requirements is requested. So now I'm gonna go ahead and map the different requirements to releases. I might choose those first children to go in this first sprint, and then the remainder to go in that second sprint of release 1.0. And now when I hit save, you can see that the requirement status has updated to planned because they have been planned in a release. We can also take a moment to check out our product homepage. And you can see that the widgets now are, are beginning to be populated. So you have those six requirements. You can see that they're all in release 1.0. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the release schedule here. If we expand this release 1.0, you can see the two spreads underneath as well. Thanks so much for watching Spira planning release video today. We have more Spira explainer videos for you to explore on this channel. So check them out now.